Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sure you're all very excited from that last match. I am also very excited. Blue has been so overwhelmed by such a match that he has gone to get water and he'll be back with us very, very oh, soon. So hello? Yeah. Blue's here! He's here! Blue is okay. here! Okay, I, I didn't realize we started, okay. We do, we had, we had to stop very quickly because the match is about to start between okay. our next match, Armamiya Kokoro and Bartek. Give me your thoughts, Blue, what do you think? Matt, okay, this is gonna be a huge match. I mean, Bartek, obviously, you know, the Polish GOAT himself. Uh, I, oh, man, sorry, my, my head is still... <laughs> my head is still messed up from that last game. That was so intense, man. I need I need to collect myself a little bit. I'm gonna I'm gonna hand it over to you for a second. Okay, no problem, no problem, no problem. It's okay because that's not my research as well. It's all good. So these two players are both very very well known in their respective nations. Bartek and Aramir Koko both being huge contributors to both their nations in OWC. But Amamiya Koko in particular has made a huge surfacing, especially in this qualifier result. Number three seeded, which is very, very good. Especially when you're against competitions. Like, oh my god, ridiculous players. I, I can't even begin to list all of them. It's ridiculous I mean, strong know, Malashevsky, players. Zuti, Rika, the, yeah. the lot. Malis, you know? Zuti, Rika, uh, Takedo. Oh uh, god, so many, so many ridiculous players. Pretty uh, sure he's one of the lowest ranked uh, players in the tournament too, right? Yeah, yeah, that too. Proves that you can be a, you can be a goat tournament player without having to get ridiculous amounts of PP plays. But yeah, Amamiya Koko, incredibly strong South Korean all rounder, exceptional on hidden hard rock the lot. Streams and tech are also something that he's very very particular strong and that's reflected in his qualifiers results. And against someone like Bartek, it's a bit different. Uh, as Dio mentioned in the qualifiers results and player showcase of the qualified players. You know, it's more of an all-rounder against a specialist because Bartek is more on the specialist side. He may not be strong ma majorly on every skill set. However, his ARA reading and speed is phenomenal. Really, really strong double-time player and really strong hidden player. Those Absolutely. are going to be two skill sets that we are going to see shine throughout this throughout this match. And despite Armia Coco being incredibly flexible, he's gonna he's gonna have a lot of trouble against someone like Bartek on maps like Double Time 3, Double Time double time 1, Double Time 2, all the Double Time maps, for crying out loud. Incredibly I'm strong stuff. Hidden 2 as well. Particular pick that I'm expecting. Uh, either Amamiya Croker to ban or Bartek to pick. Yeah, I mean, Bartek, absolute speed demon, of course. Amazing on the hidden. But Amamiya Croker are no slouch, though. Absolutely and not. Yeah. I, think, I think you're spot on, really. Bartek, definitely going to be trying to pick out those speedy DTs. And there you have it, Amamiya Croker with the DT2 first ban. Just immediately getting that pure speed out of the way for Bartek. He's not going to let that one through. Yeah, very wise ban for Armia. Right? <laughs> no, mod, no mod 12? No mod 12? Yo? <laughs> yeah, no mod 12. <laughs> it's like a secret. It's like it unlocked a secret code. <laughs> <laughs> no, I believe. I believe. They yeah, actually... I believe he means no mod one and two. <laughs> yeah. I believe no mod one and two. Regardless, though, yes, those yeah. are the two maps. Very, very understandable. Armia Kroko very strong on no mod. We've already mentioned how well, how well rounded he is. Um, but no mod two and no mod one in particular are two skill sets that he's gonna definitely outshine Bartek on. Don't don't kind of get misconceived. No mod two, yes, maybe streams may have a lot of uh, BPM and stamina, but flow aim is also a big key in that no mod two, and flow aim is very very different to speed, which is Bartek's big, strong strength. And final ban is double time three. Super understandable. Once again, trying to get rid of Bartek's key strength, but that hidden two is open. Yeah, and he takes it straight away, immediately. Says he's gonna gamble the hidden two. I don't necessarily think it's a gamble. I mean, he's great at this type of map. And uh, excuse me, as we've seen, this map is, you know, fairly comfortable for most players you know nothing too hard to speak of nothing too difficult that players are going to trip up on it's just your standard ar8 delis map you know you're going to find your wide angles slightly awkward jumps nothing too crazy and at the end of the day this is stuff that bartek really thrives on for sure yeah definitely for sure i think what another thing that makes this map a little bit more dip on the difficult side is that yes it does have that ARA reading but on top of that that length three minutes and 45 seconds long very close to four minutes that is a long ARA trip and for someone like Bartek who's very comfortable in this this is kind of a regular cakewalk but only a cooker who may despite be perfectly okay on this kind of stuff contrary to Bartek who's consistently dominant on this kind of stuff it might cause a few mishaps 
uh, consistency-wise from this insane lane. But here we go. We're already going into that hidden two. First map of this match. Very, very excited. So far, the only thing noticeable here, we're very, very early, mind you. But, oh, wow. Oh, Bartek. Early miss from Bartek. That is unexpected for sure. Accuracy is in Bartek's favor, but that early combo lead is going in favor of Army of Kokoro. And for yeah. the break, he's seen it. He's seen the break. He knows he's in the lead, and now he's got to hold on for as long as he can. And that's the thing, right? You know, when these breaks happen, both players can see each other's scores and what combo they have. So they know, you know, Bartek, he has to combo the rest of this. He can't afford any more misses. This is his pick, you know? Like, having a break point on your first pick is really not something you want to happen. And, I mean, I think he kind of foreshadowed it, shadowed it in the, uh, the pregame talk. He was saying he's going to gamble him to. Maybe he didn't feel as confident as he probably should be on a map like this. And Mami Okokoro, though... Oh, getting a 50 on one of those jumps, maybe a slight misread, but that combo is the thing that matters right now, going into the halfway point of the match. I think oh. looking at the cursor movements alone, Bartek does look a lot more comfortable on this, but Alamir Kroko is holding strong. That accuracy is also really solid. Yeah, I mean, you know, Bartek may be just, just an unfortunate uh, cursor slip or something because 99.5 is indicative of, you know, how well he's able to read and understand this map. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's a tournament, so if you miss, you miss, you know, you can't help if the other person's going to combo. doesn't matter how comfortable you are on the map. And Amami Okokoro right now, potentially about to pull the, his first point of the match and a break point. Not only, into his first pick. not only a break point, but a break point on a very dominant skill set of his opponents. That early break from Bartek is a serious dent. You can notice the accuracy here still continuing to be in favor of Bartek. This isn't a, a bad day or anything. Literally one tiny mistake has led to a massive, massive advantage for Bartek. Getting thrown away, slowly slipping from his fingers. You can see the score is slowly extending in favor of Amiya Kroko. The longer they hold, I mean, my guess is that it's over now regardless whether Amiya Kroko breaks or not. However, you know, Regardless of what happens, that lead is so far oh, forward. Oh, the nerves, though! Oh, yeah, thank Kokoro you, Pfizer! I'm Amami Okokoro! <laughs> Did you say thank you, Pfizer? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> hang on. Uh, yeah, Amami Okokoro may break, and yes, the score gap is slowly closing in, but that 90,000 score difference towards the very late stages of this map might close it out regardless. However, you can see, it's slowly closing in just a little bit. If Amari Koko is to break once again, there's a good chance this might flip the very end. Yeah, Look I at the score blue. It. It's oh incredibly my. close. No way. We're getting to the very late no stage. No way. 10k. Flip. Last second. And the it does. Amari Koko breaks once again. Bartek pushes forward. And what looks like a huge missed chance of getting a free pick. Bartek comes back last second wow. and takes map one. Don't tell me this is going to be the same as last match, dude. My heart can't wow. take it. What a, what a recovery by Bartek. It's just so unfortunate. The nerves getting to Amami Okokoro right now. He actually won the gamble, says the ref. <laughs> and I mean, it's true. It really was a gamble because Amami Okokoro was looking hugely consistent on this, but... That wow. break, so unfortunate, man. Just the, yes. just the nerves. Getting the best of him and Bartek capitalizing immediately, securing his first pick and avoiding, you know, any any mishaps. You know, he he needs he needs this first point and I think he's gonna feel confident after that. I think both these guys generally had a really, really good performance on this map. Army of Croker really pushing against expectations here. But I, I think, you know, the length of the map really benefited Bartek. That early break, yes, Army of Croker had a massive advantage, but Breaking towards the very end where, yes, although most of the time it was very consistent the same, you know, at the very end they do generally get a little bit more difficult and that plus the nerves plus the pressure of knowing, hey, I'm in the lead, I can get this huge point, got the better of him and that is something that Bartek took great advantage of, but regardless, he shakes it off, Hard Rock 2 is next. Angus Song, and I mean... He's right. Sometimes, you know, you gotta you got to shake that off immediately and just get straight into what you're comfortable on. Get your map pick out there. You know, usually the first pick of a match is something you're extremely confident that you're able to win versus your opponent. And, you know, a little bit shaky for Bartek. Does end up securing his. We'll see if Amami Okokoro can do the same to tie it at one-to-one. -one. 
maybe the shakes might get the best of him. This is very high CS. Really hard to aim, especially with nerves. We may have said that Bartek's particular strength may not be in, in the yeah. hardware, but that does not mean that he is significantly weak. He's still got an opportunity to potentially snag something, but so far that early break is not going to help his case. Amir Koko are holding on with a solid 99.7 accuracy. Ooh, may but drop, unfortunately, unfortunately, unfortunately they, he does break, but still, the lead is in his favor. Bartek does have a small combo advantage, which is going to flip the score lead eventually, but that accuracy is noticeable, a good sign of the comfort on this map. Yeah, I mean, remember this map is two minutes long. We're almost approaching the halfway point already, and both players almost identical accuracy right now. Bartek, that 100 combo is paying dividends. And if nothing happens, he's going to take this break point. Hopefully, Amari Amami Kokoro is able to clutch up and maybe combo towards the end. In this situation, Bartek will miss. In this situation with a map with a map this short, he, he's really going to gamble that Bartek breaks. This may, this may be Amami Kokoro's big strength, but... That break, that trade has made it a serious problem. This map is pretty damn short, about two minutes, nine seconds long. As you can see at the bottom, he's also evened out the accuracy. Oh, Bartek Bartek goes the down. Break. Amir Kokoro now in the driver's there seat. There it overtake. is. He cannot trade this break. It is seriously tense yeah. rages right now. The score lead is finally in his favor, and the accuracy is also in his favor. The score lead will extend a little bit more for him. However, we're still in the late stages of this map. Very, very late stages. The map is ending soon. He has to control his nerves, man. He has to. You can see he's shaking so on those triple spot, Holding that 99, holding the combo. Oh, oh both both That's not, gonna That's not gonna matter. Not gonna matter. Mami Okoko has done enough to secure his first point of the match. Man, that was scary. I thought Bartek had it for a second there. That oh, no, 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 no. Turn it off, turn it off. Quick, 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 quick. Close, close, the, stream. The, score. close, close the stream, close the stream, guys. Put your close the stream, on. close the stream. Put your close the stream. On. Close the I stream. <laughs> no, you don't see. No, you don't see anything, guys. You don't oh, see anything. I, I can see again. Wow, that's amazing. Oh, oh wow. Oh my god. The wonders of technology. Next pick. And here we go. Bartek immediately going into an amazing strength of his. Hidden three. Tech, flow aim, cut streams. And the a long. And, a, and a banger. I, I agree. say that. Lapix is oh, always a good choice. Always. Good choice. All the time. Yeah. Never, oh, yeah, never yeah, yeah. a song with Lapix. I mean, oh, this match already shaping up to be <laughs> just as close as the last one. Dude, my heart can't take it. These, both of these players, still playing really well. It's just, man, <laughs> I don't know what to expect anymore. Well, so far, both players have traded each other's breakpoint. Are we going to see that pattern repeat itself? Or are we going to kind of see it solidify and go back to the expected, you know, strengths one, strengths back one? You know, are we going to see that? Or are we going to see more surprises? Are we going to see more something crazy? Honestly, I don't know. I'm really excited for this because, yes, this is the kind of uh, battle of the, of the all-rounder and the specialist. But so far, we haven't seen that theme kind of come through. We've seen two extremely close maps both becoming breakpoints. So honestly, I couldn't be more excited for this. I really don't know who's going to take this. And that's what's super exciting about these kind of matches. Where, yes, on paper, you can expect what goes through. But on the match itself, on the day, things can always be different. Here we go. Hidden three. Man, another short one here. Only just about less than two minutes. Any break here is detrimental, and oh man, you can already see the shakes from Amami Kokoro. Nerves perhaps getting to him a little bit too much here. Does does kick the combo through that this, hard intro? This I mean, that's quite a lot of aim control. Oh yeah, yeah before that see. intro is brutal. Bartek though finding the first miss. Amami Kokoro really, yeah. really coming through. Never oh. mind. Oh my god, that pattern is insanely hard though. Bartek with a 2% act lead, really going to help him out here because they have the exact same combo as each other. That skull lead slowly inching its way towards Bartek's side, and there it goes. Here we go, some more intense aim controls. Yeah, still the accuracy is going to be huge for him. You can see those doubles. You can see Amir Koko's like, discomfort on this map. The, the shakiness and the, and the nerves on the cursor is really making this a frightening situation oh if you're God. if you're rooting for him your Koko. But regardless, the combo stays dead even. Accuracy combo, still evil. No, accuracy, actually, no, in favor of Bartek. However, 
we could see a break. We've seen multiple breaks already. We could see something happen. Oh, dude, those streams give me anxiety, dude. <laughs> yeah, and here we go. It's only going to get harder from here, Blue. Final Ki coming through. Last quarter. Dante goes down. Missing. Four. Oh, right Parker. before it. Advantage flipped. Got to hold out the final Ki here. A trade very, very soon could lead it. But however, about a few more nah, seconds now. No way. As long as Mario Coco holds. 100,000 score difference. Very, hitting very those wiggles, soon. Hitting those cut streams. Hitting the doubles. Oh, the shakes. Dude, the shit. No way. What a cool play. Got a... Hitting that final stream. Amelia Coco has play. got it. What a play. Continuing this match storyline of a break point after break point. Hidden three is Army of Kokoro's 2 1. Oh Man, my god. Clutch. Absolutely clutch by Mami of Kokoro here. <laughs> According oh, to Botic, that was his it. worst run ever. You hate you to hate, see it. You, you hate to see it be in that situation. I've I've played in tournaments as well. You, you, you hate to have seen a map multiple times in practice yeah. and then just <sighs> mess it up completely in tournament. Oh man. It's such an unfortunate situation. I know that all too well. <laughs> I know yeah. that all too well, man. Every Happened in this OWC. Player. So unfortunate. Every tournament player knows that pain, man. But you know, at the end of the day, you can't dwell on it too much. Bartek's just gotta get straight back into the fold and you know, pull out some points. And Mami Okokoro taking an early 2-1 lead from got Bartek's to pick. Eye. Gotta keep an eye on these uh, next picks coming through here because Bartek's big strength on speed has been mostly eliminated. However, he could still take advantage of the double time that he's got. Yaz's yeah, double time 4 is a whole map of itself, which is ridiculous, but it's more height, low CS ult, which could yeah, more potentially... Yeah, could still be in Bartek's, you know, area of comfort. Double time one is also open, but Alamir Koko at this very moment has so much more options. I think Hard Rock 3 is also open for Bartek. Um, you know, still fairly old speed map. <laughs> you think so? Lots of bursts. Oh! <laughs> well, so? oh, there it is. I mean, seems to think the opposite, that. I was, I was just... I, Oh, Hard Rock 4 I meant, sorry, not Hard Rock 3, ah, Hard Rock okay. 4. Yeah, yes. I agree, I agree with Hard, Hard Rock, Rock 4. 4 open for Bartek. Hard Rock 3, however, more of a Mami Kokoro's specialty. You know, that type of really good small CS Hard, hard Rock, really difficult to act. Hopefully his shakes and nerves don't get the best of him. And, you know, we did see Bartek perform really, you know, a little bit better than expected on the Hard Rock. We're gonna have to see if he, he if he can pull the reverse breakpoint to tie it up 2-2, but yeah, I'm not sure it's... This is a little really bit of a fighting prospect here. We yeah, have seen good. Bartek pop off a little bit on the Hard Rock 2, but this skill still could be an issue. Massive aim control, massive thing in control, doubles everywhere, some ridiculous patterns like what Dio infamously called the loop-de-loop. The -loop. The loop de loop, the double cut stream, whatever in God's name mappers would want to call that thing. That pattern is going to be, could be the death of one of these players. But here we go. We're going into Hard Rock 3 Blue. Are we going to see the pattern stay the same? Or are we going to see finally a break in the cycle? Let's find out. Dude, this map is so difficult, especially when you're nervous. Yeah, for sure. Another short one as well. A lot of these maps barely eclipsing two minutes. So, again, same story goes for this map. Any break is detrimental, and you really need to be holding as much combo as possible. Don't worry about the act too much. That's quite a bit of snap in it as well. A lot of aim control elements in this map, and a little bit of aim control to boot it, which oh, can make dude. it really stressful. You can see the Shazen on me of Kokoro, man. That aim gives me anxiety, dude. It, it, uh, gives, oh. it gives me anxiety, oh, too. Oh, there he goes. Oh, Kokoro breaks, drops that combo. Already holding strong. Oh, yeah. oh, dude! No way! If he keeps this up, it's another oh. break point. Wow! They both both are are that, but Bartek just holding that combo from the start. I think we have another break point on the cards, and it's very possible. Yeah. Wow! We're getting into late stages of this map. Thirty k difference. Only just under a third left of the map. It's going to take disaster on Bartek's side for Mami Koko to be able to take this point. Yeah, Bartek is, is closely approaching that 200,000 score difference. Oh but no! Bartek goes down. Okay. I don't know if that's going to be the time. Mami Koko's got to hold the remainder of this map, but the combo is really not 
I don't Something think he's going to do it. We're getting to the very late stages of the map. Actually, so is it is only in Coco's favor, but 130,000 no, last no, second. He done. goes down, and that has sealed it. The cycle continues, ladies and gentlemen. Breakpoint after breakpoint for the fourth time in a row. Bartek takes Hard Rock 3. Oh my god, man. What? I... My heart. <laughs> my heart can't take it, dude. One miss by Bartek as well. That's that's really good. Better right by Mami Kokoro, but... You know, just not his day on this map, unfortunately. Bartek immediately DT1. If they swap PCs. I wonder if they swap PCs, boy. <laughs> yeah, do you reckon the overlay's right? We have the right players, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Know, Dio, guys, can we production? get on that? Production? Yeah. <laughs> can we get on that? Anyway... Double time one is picked next for Bartek. Yeah, immediately think, carrying on yeah. the momentum, not waiting a single second for Mami Okokoro to rest. He's going to let him dwell on that while they're playing the map. And Word Tori Kago. By the way, we do in oh. fact have the right players in the right slots. Oh. I, I, oh. I can say nothing <laughs> about whether they've swapped their PCs for themselves. <laughs> okay, Th thank, you, thank, oh, you thank you, Dio. Thank you very much. Thank you so thank much, you production. Much. much appreciated that. Awesome as usual. Giga Chad production, ladies and gentlemen. Um, yeah, let's go. Let's go back to this double time one here. Tori Garko, aim consistency. Classic AR, song. Ten point three. Classic, classic song. You're an OG if you know this song from back in the day. But looking at the map, uh, looking at the the set here. Although yes, we kind of know Bartek as the stronger double time player. Only a Coco, according to at least qualifiers results, is relatively even in the matchings here. Obviously, the map is quite different, probably higher AR and maybe a little bit higher in, in the jumps and maybe the speed. There is a few bursts here to boot, but we'll have to wait and see. This is Bartek's true chance to break the cycle. Yeah, in general, I think I favor Bartek more on these higher AR DT consistency picks. That's just, you know, what he's known for, really, apart from hidden. And we're seeing it already coming out of the slow intro, Bartek with a 1% act difference. And there More it is, Ami Kokoro misreading, over aiming that slider head and slider breaking ultimately. Bartek with a very early lead here. But considering this map is one of the longer ones in the pool, those early breaks don't matter as much. And Ami Kokoro finding another one, he's going to need to really step it up here if he's got any chance in taking this point from Bartek. Going into the first Kiai here, coming through strong for Bartek. Ami Kokoro breaks twice. Accuracy disadvantage to boot. The score lead is. Far, far extending for Bartek, already getting close to that 100,000. But this map, yes, four minutes long. Oof. Still plenty of time for Amaria Koko to potentially come back here. If Bartek misses within the halfway mark and Amaria Koko continues to hold, there is potential for a comeback. There is potential. There is hope. There is excitement. But so far, Bartek continues to hold the advantage. 600 combo, doubling Amaria Koko. Score leader extending even drop. further. Almost yeah. missing, actually, Bartek, but thankfully able to finger control his way out of that. Huge combo disadvantage for Amami Okokoro now, though. He's absolutely preying on a Bartek miss. But as we go into the midsection of the map here, Bartek's looking super confident. Almost identical accuracy as well, so... Barring any misses from Bartek, it's his point to lose. This could be the next important part of the map. Yeah, if we, we go see another burst, break here, man. if we see another break here, if Amir Koko breaks, it is surely over. But if Bartek breaks, we could see the potential of a massive comeback here. Both these players are struggling just a little bit to keep it together. But so far, it's seeming pretty good for Bartek. Late stage of this Ki, two thirds of the way through this Both map. Please hit the jumps on. Both of these wow. guys are holding strong, man. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even see that. Oh my god. <laughs> the pain and agony <laughs> of knowing that your opponent is still going is quite frightening. If I was in his shoes, I would think the same thing. Okay. But regardless, three we go. quarters of the way through this map. We are going into the very, very late stages here. And so far, break comes through. Both these guys know exactly what's going on. Nerves massively for Bartek, I can imagine. Being in a situation where... Oh no! The no! Cycle! He's messed up on the first line! No way! Oh no! I don't know if there's... We're in the final no, GI. It's not, it's not Bancho. It wasn't Bancho. It wasn't Bancho either! That's seriously 
Oh okay. no! This okay. could be a massive hold on. issue here! Hold on. Oh god! Okay, hold on. Shh, be, be quiet. Everyone be quiet. Everyone be quiet. No! <laughs> oh, no, it's trying to... That's it. That's it. It's over. There's I no tried. way. I tried. I tried. You tried to give the height. You tried to give the excitement. Unfortunately, I'm going to be a His nervous system, his shakies are not listening. Unfortunately, now that is definitely over. Bartek will break the cycle about 180,000, 170,000 or so. Oh. Honestly, so this hard. could have been massive. Bartek with such a rudimentary miss, such a fucking uh, oh, whoops, apologies, such a tragic miss after the break as well. Before slider the break, <laughs> the slider break as well. Like wow, so so unlucky for Bartek. But I don't know, could have taken massive advance from that. Unfortunately, it got to him, and Bartek takes the map. The Those cycle nerves. has been broken. Double time one has been won by Bartek. Yes, the map in blue goes to the guy in blue. Finally. And <laughs> yeah. next pick for Amir Kokoro. Are we going to see him bounce back with a win of his own? Oh, man. Dude, those nerves are huge for Amir Kokoro. Bartek maybe not being ready for that slider on coming out of the break. <laughs> if that slider break doesn't go in a in a funny moments compilation on one on one of the weekly clips channels, I don't know I don't know what I, I expect, man. That has to be the slider break of all time. <laughs> the slider break so. of all time. <laughs> yeah, I Amami Kokoro saying in the chat, I can't AR 10.3. He did look a little bit uncomfortable. I had a really good combo despite it though. Picks into no mod four. Okay, some of that tech coming out. This is a solid pick here from Amira Kokoro. I think they've been probably saving this because uh, this is definitely a map that is definitely in Amira Kokoro's favor. No more four tech, something very right up Amira Kokoro's alley. Lots of sliders in this one though. Yes, very aim control map. heavy. So easy to slide a break. You know, Bartek's no slouch on this type of map either. But, dude, the nerves from Amira Kokoro. He's going to need to calm them down if he's going to have any chance of winning this match because... Bartek's not going to let up, and he's looking to take the break point and go full two up. All right. Here we go. Valhalla O. No more four. This map, very, very slider intensive. A lot of high velocity sliders here. We're going to see it a lot more noticeable in this next guy here. The jumps come through, the streams come through so far, so good for both players. SSing for both of them. I'm, it, it's going to draw. I don't know why even I'm mentioning it, but here we go. Stream comes through. So as Kiai comes through, you already see the slider jumps are pretty, pretty massive. You need some pretty crazy good slider aim and re being able to read that velocity is super, super difficult. But so far, both these players are really holding on wow. solidly. I Nobody think... missing on that slider stream pattern either. I've seen so many misses on that today. And hmm. wow, look at these cuts as well. Both players holding steadfast, nobody wanting to give up the first break. Looking like a really good pick from Amami Kokoro, but Bartek, like I said, not letting up one bit. He wants that 4-2 lead. He does. Slight yeah. ack advantage, but nothing really notable to speak of, because that score lead could just swing instantly. Instantly, yeah. An ack drop could really determine the advantage here. We're going into the next and most likely final Ki. This map is only two minutes long. This is the moment that seals everything. A major ag drop or a break is going to decide it, period. So yeah. at this very moment, yes, Bartek has that advantage, but it's very, very close. Yeah, and Mami Okokoro needs to hold now. If he wants to tie it up at three all, nobody missing on these. Oh, no, this double break. misses. Double, double break. break. It's okay. going to come down to accuracy and who can hold the slightly larger combo. Accuracy is dead even, Blue. The accuracy is dead even. Oh it's, my it's going to be so incredible. Oh, it's to break and it goes down to Amami Kokoro. Amami Kokoro, he has to hold this combo. He cannot miss, otherwise Bart if the lead goes straight to Bartek. What is he going to do it? score difference? No what way. What is this, Blue? I think he's going to do it. He's going to take his own point. There he's it is. Yeah. The end of the map. Amami Kokoro clutching that out by the skin of wow. his teeth. He ties it up at 3-3, Bartek not looking like he's going to get that 4-2 lead. Man, what the hell? What How are we getting hell? banger after banger each time? What is going on? Almost identical accuracy. Look at that, 1900 from Bartek, 1800s from Amami Kokoro, one miss across the board. It's only those 250s that, that really 
differentiate the accuracies here. Yeah, dude, that was literally anybody's pick. Literally anybody's pick. That was insane. <laughs> a secret makes a brilliant analogy. Osu is one big casino. If There's you a watch this whole lot of gambling. Alone, if this match was your impression of Osu, that would be exactly what you thought. A whole lot of gambling. These guys have been seriously getting incredibly close maps. Literally. Okay. It's well, crazy. And here we go. Apparently Bartek can't even play DT4, but he's picking it anyway, keeping it interesting for everybody at home. This is quite a frightening sign for Bartek, to be honest. It's 3-3. Three, three. There are two maps left to go aside from tiebreak that he himself can pick. Oh, that's but the considering, Polish way, dude. Considering he's picking the next map and he says that he's very uncomfortable in it, that is a problem. I think he's more going for the for the potential weakness for Army of Kokoro, but that's gonna that strategy is gonna die very quickly. Considering considering Army of Kokoro is much more all well rounded, those two prime picks for Bartek have gone. They were gone ages ago. He hasn't got the chance to even play them. The DE4 is kind of his last secure pick, I guess you could say. But you never know. Omi oh, Akoka might have something up his sleeve. This is CS0. Oh, me. Oh, my. Here this we go. This is CS0 alt with some with a few spiders AR, here and there. <laughs> and this is also AR 10.5, might I add. Um, yeah, yeah it's is... definitely a map of all time. I think so. Yeah, I, I think you're correct in saying that. A uh, valid, uh, valid statement. Here we go. Look at these sliders, dude. And Mami oh, and Koko wow. are finding the break. Bartek saying he can't play it. Well, I think he's just lying straight out of his backside. 99% a quarter of the way in. Yeah, actually, yeah. what is this? This is actually <laughs> kind of insane from Bartek. And Mami and Kokoro just struggling immensely on this map. Not able to find his footing and Bartek just absolutely shredding this. Yeah, this is, a, this is a key example of seriously going for your opponent's weaknesses rather than your prime strengths. But regardless, like, Bartek is doing really solid here. He does seem, by the cursor movement, a little bit jarred by the by the really high AI and ridiculous circle size. But so far, we're at halfway through the map, and 150, 200,000 score favor for oh, Bartek. Dude. And Those he doesn't want to burst. give in. He doesn't want to give in. Look at him. He may break. He may break, but... This map is relatively short. I don't Ooh. know if oh, Omri is going to hold on to the mind. combo. And there it goes. Yep, that, that sliver of a chance. It. Yeah, that sliver of a chance that Omami Kokoro had swept away immediately by a miss. Bartek just <laughs> absolutely destroying this map right now. Very unfortunate break. Really would have liked to see an FC on this, but I mean, what more can you ask for? Almost 98% on this. Crazy play by Bartek. Wow. So he couldn't play the map. Turns out he Who just said that? all of your things. <laughs> Who said that? And he should feel bad. <laughs> I can't. I can't miss you though. We. I think it's safe to say that I. It's. We're very. We should be very impressed by what Iron Man Kroko is doing right now. Like, oh, for like, sure. He's, he's keeping a great combo, like, look, too. Look, look at this hole. So he, Amari Kokoro has kept multiple combos consistently well. It's just unfortunate that they couldn't kind of join the two big combos together. S rank for Bartek. No misses. Solid, solid score from Bartek here. 700,000 Yeah, guys. Score? Can't really play this map, by the way. Can't play this, by the way, guys. You can't play this. <laughs> yeah, can't play the map, by the way, guys. You know, just 98% S rank. You know, no big deal. Hmm. For sure. No big deal. So that next pick has been taken for Bartek. 4-3 in his favor. I'm gonna be a Kroko's turn now to pick. So close to tiebreaker again. Oh, this could be another TV situation. Oh boy. Here we go. Dude, My heart's not ready for it, Blue. I I don't even know who to favor on the tiebreaker. I, I think if no mod three is picked, I think the winner of that wins the tiebreaker. But you know, I could be mistaken. This match has been back and forth the entire way through. Two matches in a row now where this has happened. Such an important pick for, Am for Amami Kokoro, however, because one wrong move, Bartek takes the pick and gets that tiebreaker, secures hidden the tiebreaker. Four. At the very least, hidden four. Hidden four is next. Okay. Hidden four, slider intensive attack with some long sliders. Super space stream and the, the very stark here, which could trip players. Oh, dude, some of the streams this in this map. Funky. Yeah, some of the streams in this map really, really hard. Although, this style of hidden, Bartek still excels at. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Kind of a toss up pick, in my opinion. However, 
<laughs> yeah, I don't know. Oh, I, see, I see that. <laughs> Omiya, so apparently, Omiya Kokoro's score was their, their PB, which goes to show that Bartek made the right move and going for the uncomfortable thing. That was a great score on Omiya Kokoro. Let's just make that clear. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Despite that Bartek is doing really easy good. That map is not easy on DT. Imagine that circle size just flashing in front of you. You could probably give an epilepsy warning for playing that map. <laughs> <crying out laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, exactly. It's, it's ridiculous. But here we go. This is a very important map with Army of Kokoro. Hidden Four has been picked. And yes, this is leaning a little bit into Bartek's strength. But knowing Army of Kokoro, knowing how consistent he is on these kind of maps, this could be another very close map here, Blue. Dude, I literally don't know which way it's going to go. I, I'm, I'm sick and tired of being confused, man. <laughs> so Somebody convincingly win a match today, please. We need an oracle. We need an oracle on this on this uh, from production, man. I think we're we telling us what. Yeah, who, we need, we need the crystal ball, dude. We need the crystal <laughs> ball. Just, just see into it for us. Yeah. <laughs> well, SS is across the board throughout the fairly easy intro. Coming into some of the more intense sliders, I s maybe. I don't know. Some of those sliders can catch you off guard. I know they definitely have caught me off guard sometimes. You know, just those really long sliders that you kind of don't expect to be as slow doubles? as they are. Those doubles are frightening as a player. Okay, like, here we go. Like one slight mismove could really mess it up, but that stream, those stream. guys both, both hit it. it. Look at this accuracy from Omiya Kokoro. SS throughout the first quarter of this map here. Yes, both players are still have seen with impeccable oh accuracy. God. Do drop the act. Both players drop a little bit of act there. But yeah. So far, it's incredibly oh, even. No! Omiya Kokoro is the first to go down. That could be a serious issue. Yes, this map is long, four minutes, 25 seconds, but Bartek looks good. Dude, both oh, players showing might... their prowess on this. Bartek finding the break. This map is dead even now, essentially. That's both it. Both players 99.5. This is insane, by the way. This is not easy to act. This is and, crazy act. And there it is. Amami Koko dropping his combo. Bartek still heavily in the lead now. That 200 combo is going to be paying dividends later into the map. 99.6 as well on Bartek. And Mami Kokoro really needs to step it up now. And again, I made the same pun before. He's going to have to turn it up. <laughs> Doesn't get old. This session isn't too crazy difficult. Here so go. Bartek is going to have a lot of opportunity here to gain some free combo. But Mami Kokoro is trailing. That combo is very close. It is very close. About 120 combo difference. In Scorpio be two standards, that's not that crazy. And although although the accuracy isn't also in their favor, a break from Bartek, even if it's in quite the late stages, oh, could yeah. be very, very important. 40k is into, nothing. Yeah, we're going into the first, last third of this map. Another fire slider comes through. I love fire. <laughs> fire and... slider. Okay. Well, Amami Akopro bringing it up. Yeah, bringing it up to 99% through the slow section. Both players holding their combo. 50k score gap going into the last third. This is nothing, essentially. Here we We're go. Slowly building up to this oh, final dude. TI. This could be a very, very important part of this next part here. Oh, both oh, players hitting the accelerating players stream. Any break here loses the point on the spot for the other player right now. Both in the cost streams, big accuracy drop there from Bartek. Here we Give go. Give Omiya Koko that, that massive accuracy advantage now. Yeah, it's not massive, it's a little bit small. But regardless, these guys are very, very close in combo. That accuracy advantage from Omiya Koko is going to contribute. Shakes! Son of Unfortunately, Omiya Koko cannot take advantage of the accuracy it's over. and gets the break. We are too deep into this map yeah, it's for just anything over. else to swing. Nearly 1,000 combo for Bartek. He will take this map and be at match point into Omiya Kokoro. He has got that one hit at uh, Horrock 4. That could be the, the thing that gets him this win. This is a huge map for hit for Bartek to win. Huge, huge map. And um, what, what a crazy break point. <laughs> Hitting his smoke key there, getting the 50 on the slider. He knows he's got it. He is so happy. He pressed tab and knows. Yeah, very he's well played. He's in a great spot. He's in a great spot. Yeah, I mean, match point is a great spot to be in, especially against the number three seed through the qualifiers. Yeah. And Mamiya Kokoro falling behind on his own pick there, conceding the break point to Bartek. He's going to really need some momentum and going to have to really dig in deep to be able to find these last three points. But there you have it, Bartek with the one miss. Unfortunate 
for the accuracy of Amamiya Kokoro shows how comfortable he really was on that pick. It's just, just not his day today on this, apparently. Seems so, at the very moment, unfortunately. Bartek's now at match point, and he gets his next pick. I am definitely predicting Hard Rock 4. This is the only map that kind of can give a little bit of a, an advantage for his speed capabilities. You know, it, Hard Rock 4 being a bit of a gore shit style, pretty, pretty fast and pretty, pretty, it has a, has a lot of bursts in it that are high BPM, which could be what he takes advantage of. But if that is lost, then Tiebreaker, I, I think, is probably secured if, if, the, if the next pick is lost. Because at this point, we're, we're stretching for options here. I don't know. I mean, I, I like potentially a Nomad 3, maybe even a Nomad 5. Uh, fuck. I don't know. Yeah, I don't see it going any other way than Hard Rock 4 currently. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, he's gambling. Oh, there he is. Nomad 3. <laughs> Nomad 3. Okay. Keep gambling, there ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> he goes Keep for the gambling. Nomad 3 through Crawl of the yeah. Dice. <laughs> there it is. Gambling again. This is his last pick going through, and I'm a bit surprised we haven't seen the Hard Rock 4 go through. I'm a bit surprised by that, but regardless, this has to be something that he's planned for, maybe something that he's practiced, maybe a map that he's, you know, decided, you know what, hey, I really like this map, so we're going to go for it. Well, this map, I mean, if you were here for the last match, you saw how intense this map is. It's like low BPM space streams, but incredibly hard ult patterns to, you know, barely nappy type of flow aim. Mm -hmm. really, really easy to miss on. Nomad 3 does have quite a lot of flow aim, but has some frightening snap aim sections on top of that. Oh Constant yeah. Constant flow aim with with a little bit of with a little bit of a snap to kind of pepper around and keep the player keep the player on their toes. Yeah. Keeps it nice but, and fresh, yeah. you know? Yeah, there is not a just your hard average water. number three. There is a hard part on the two thirds section of this map which has some very frightening like jumps, like back and forth jumps in the slide yeah. stream to boot. That could be something that decides if oh, anyone breaks, but we well. already see a double miss from both of these players, probably in the early stages of the map. No major issue, but we do see quite literally like what, a like eight, seven combo advances from Amir Kokoro. That's probably oh, yeah. not gonna huge, really be feasible. Huge yeah. Massive, massive combo. Wow. <laughs> wow. Although, though. Yeah, this on, map on. is, again, just under two minutes. A lot of the maps in this pool under two minutes, so maybe this early act lead and <laughs> seven combo lead could be the difference maker. Oh, and there it is, nope. Bartek missing on that pattern. Mamiya Kokoro looking much more comfortable on this map. Bartek really losing the gamble currently. Halfway through the map already, and Mamiya Kokoro 99%, not faltering a single bit, hitting these wiggles. Hitting the big stream and never mind, I cursed him. He misses the entire oh, chain stream. Miss as well. Oh no! I'm so sorry, Bartek. Now with a huge combo and accuracy lead. I'm so sorry for cursing someone. Let me go try and curse someone else now. I uh, yeah, you know I'm, I'm gonna switch him over. I want to see this tiebreaker. <laughs> Bartek there missing. Go, there the it section. is. Mamiya Kokoro hit it. And Mamiya Kokoro hits it and Bartek misses it. It worked. I want to see this tiebreaker again, man. Love um, you, Kokoro. Kokoro. Man. Huge recovery right now. Hits that tough section when Bartek couldn't. Advantage hugely in his favor now. We're going to the very, very late stages of this map. There's not much comeback. Bartek breaks once again. That has definitely sealed it. Ladies and gentlemen, we are getting the second tiebreaker in a row. No, 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 no. no. I'm so excited. Wait, I'll take it back. No, we don't. Oh my god, I'm stupid. Don't I, get I too ahead of yourself. Wrong. I'm don't too excited. Too I'm too yourself. excited. I heard now, you say tiebreaker and I thought that was tiebreaker already. Now, oh, now, now. One more map. There's one more map. There's one more don't, map. <laughs> don't get ahead of yourself. We have ah. one more map to go. I, I really want to see the tiebreaker. However, Emami Okoko, a huge, huge breakpoint, keeping his winner's bracket life by the skin of his teeth. And he's going to need to pick something convincing to be able to get this tiebreaker right now. <laughs> Script leaked. <laughs> Script leaked. No, no, no. <laughs> Guys, no. It's not leaked. <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> We're one at FF, so we don't play tiebreaker. Wink, wink. Okay, Bartek. Oh, Let, let's boy. see if he passes the speech check. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Next pick now.
Let him pick. Oh god. Bartek's letting him cook. He's letting him cook. <laughs> yeah, I wanna I wanna see I wanna see if if he does say what, what the other map was. I'm kinda curious. No mod five, there it is! Oh. Two of the maps I, I talked about just before that pick, hidden one would have been his pick. I like hidden one much more for Bartek than normal yeah. three, honestly. I'm not sure what he was doing. Well, here we go, AR7. And this is it, this is Mami Okokoro's only chance to secure this tiebreaker. His winner's bracket life is on the line. Okay, oh, this is actually the last map, guys. I Sorry, I didn't, mean to, I didn't mean to leak the script. It, I, I've, I've torn it, I've burnt it, I don't see it anymore. My bad. <laughs> I've got I've got a laser on my putting on my forehead right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't get too ahead of yourself, alright? Don't get too ahead of yourself. This is the last map, I swear. Here we then, go. Then I'll do the big the oh don't break your time, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, okay, let, let's just let's just calm it down, you know. Oh, Slow intro the map. Yeah, yeah, this take is a it. Breath. Take a breath. This Mami of Kokoro. Map. Here it is. Mami of Kokoro's hopes for tiebreaker rely only on this map. Oh, shaking already! You see that on the cut stream. Both players comfortable at low AR. Stakes are map... high here for Mami of Kokoro. This map is oh, ruthless. Yeah. AR7, CS5, awkward stuff, man. This is not a comfortable map to play. So much weird and uncomfortable patterns here, but so far, both these players are holding solidly. Currently, Identical accuracy. Yeah, score leads are trading back and forth. It's so, so dead even. One Again, more another flip up. short map. Look at these doubles, too. You know, if you can't read these or if you haven't memorized the map, this can trip you up so easily. Both players shredding this, both hitting the cut stream as well. Identical accuracy still. This is like about as close as it's ever gonna get. Oh man. But, oh! Mami oh. Koko dropping the act, almost misreading, but Bartek, the accuracy lead, gonna carry him through if he combos to the end. This map, once again, two minutes long. This advantage could be huge. 99.84 accuracy is pretty damn oh, good man. on Scorby by Scorby 2 standards. We're getting so, uh, so close. Oh, oh Bartek finds the break! Mami is gonna do it! He's gonna do it! Oh god! He I'm has to hold now! I'm not saying it! I'm not saying it! I'm waiting! Okay. It's okay, I'll, I, I can say it if you want, man! And Mami no, Kokoro, no. misreading, clutches the jump! <laughs> I don't know if you saw that! He did the yeah. Maruchi! He did the Maruchi! I don't know how you say his name! He did the Maruchi? Uh, yes! My, god, my brain! Look at the shakes! What is that?! Did you, hit, did you see him hit that cut stream? What the heck? How did he get away with that? Regardless, there though, it is. that is it. I'm allowed to say it now. This the laser is off my head. Tiebreaker is happening. Oh my god, it's second tiebreaker in a row. Amami Kokoro. Clutch FC, as clutch as you like. What the hell? The script, man. <laughs> it, <laughs> hey, calculated, boys. Calculated. Don't worry. We didn't. We didn't mean to spoil it. It's fine. It was still hype. It was still hype, guys. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> okay. And here we go. The second tiebreaker in a row. Bartek and Amami Akoka are both trading oh. each other's points. It's the exact same story as last match, man. You know. Breakpoints all over the board, comeback wins all over the board, and Mami Okokoro coming back on that last map to secure tiebreaker, and here it is again. Back to back, tiebreakers blue. This is awesome, man. This tiebreaker is pretty damn cool as well. Pretty unique, but it's consistency and tapping game control. Of course it's consistency, duh, it's tiebreaker. But aside <laughs> from that, is it tapping, aim control with some weird slides and, and alt patterns. You could say this is pretty flow aim intensive, but this is a funky map. It's got okay. some weird BPM changes. And honestly, seeing what Bartek and Army of Kokoro have done throughout this entire match, you know, on paper, you could kind of maybe edge the Army of Kokoro, but seeing what Bartek has done, like, wow. Okay. You can, you can really be unsure about the situation. This is a tiebreaker to be excited about. If you remember, before um, Bartek picked the Nomad 3, I said, I feel like whoever wins Nomad 3, if it's picked, 
I think wins a tiebreaker if it happens. And hey, hey, here hey, we hey, are. Hey, he's licking the script, guys. He's licking the script. <laughs> All I'm saying is, <laughs> if I'm right, I don't call me the script writer or anything, but, you know, my money's on a Mami Kokoro right now. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. We can already see it. The nerves from Mami Kokoro. You can see him on a few of the streams. The shakes are, are prominent. He's got to get over those nerves to continue to hold on to any combo that he may get. But so far, this map has a relatively chill edge section, but it's starting to ramp up a little bit now. A few act drops here and there, but no major breaks come through. I mean, Kroko is solid, 99.7 accuracy. Bartek may have slightly lower, but 99 flat is no joke at all. This is Man. slow, slowly building up, Blue. It's one third. So hard with nerves, but both players managing to stay consistent, keeping their footing on the map. Nobody looking too. Shaky on this. Mami Coker, of course, with, with the shaky aim, but. Yeah, I don't know, man. Quarter of the map. Just about gone. Both players. Looking comfortable right now. Oh, that dude. Small, that small accuracy advantage is continuing to stay in Amami Kokoro's favor. But this is nothing big. Big accuracy drop. Now giving the advantage to Bartek. The only thing that's really massive flipping here is the accuracy, but so far, they're so, so still and so chilled out. I mean, not chilled out, they're on the combo, but Ooh, it's, it's a very responsible game. But we're seeing both these plays strong just a little bit on these sections, but regardless, they're both hitting it. It's gonna be Bartek finds hit. the first break, let me Kukuro trades it immediately. trades it instantly. Bartek may break once again, but regardless, Aomiya Kokoro has that combo advantage now. Very small, but regardless, an advantage nonetheless. Accuracy is so, so even. But look at the intensity wrapping up on this map. Oh, Aomiya Kokoro finding another Kukuro break. break Bartek again. took the lead. What is Bartek this? taking the lead now. And Aomiya Kokoro had that very slight combo advantage, but fails to combo through the burst. Bartek now with a commanding lead. What is this map, Blue? We've seen, we went from a massive combos to breaks back and forth constantly. Yes, this is slowed down. It's a little bit more chilled. People are getting a little Hold bit on, easier though. combo, but the advantage is now further in favor of Bartek. But look at the score. It's so close. There is no way to tell if anyone's got a significant advantage here. The only thing that's not supposed to combo, but that's nothing in a tiebreaker situation. This is five minutes long. Oh, man. I am lost for words for what to say in this current situation until we see something massive. I'm just in awe at how even this is. I I don't even know, man. My heart cannot take this. Just look at some of these sections. Those bursts back then were so brutal. And here we go. Slightly more consistent combo for both players here. Oh, building up, Blue. It's slowly oh, building up. You can wiggles. see the difficulty ramp up just a little bit. The wiggles. Nothing happening. This is why this is called a little flow of intensity. The first! The speed! Mami Akokoro finding the break and Bartek! 700 combo lead going into the last quarter of the map. Bartek's gonna pull this through, barring any huge breaks. I think this, this is Bartek's to lose now. 70,000 score lead, 800, nigh on 900 combo lead. Going into the last... Oh no! So heartbreaking for Mami Akokoro, Bartek just slightly more consistent at those bursts. And I think he's done it. Another break has secured it for sure. That second row, Amiya Kokoro has 100% sealed this. Look at this combo from Bartek, 1,000. Ladies and gentlemen, it is over. This is the match. This is such an incredible match, man. Last match was just as incredible. Wow. We have I'll seen say. some brilliant matches today, guys. Chat, we were here. What a great match here. This TV was so incredibly intense. And yes, it may have been sealed now, but regardless, a seeding upset as well. Why don't we just remember that? I mean, Coco seed three compared to Bartek, who is, Man. I believe, seed 14. That is a huge seeding upset. I mean, just goes to show how incredibly skilled Bartek is and held combo right the way to the yeah. end. Nothing For much sure. Mami Coco could do. And there it is. That is it. Round of applause. For Ladies. Bartek. And gentlemen, Bartek takes the match. But what a match that was, Blue. My goodness. 
I'm so incredibly hyped. This is incredible. GG well played to both of these players. Like, wow. What a game. He broke the script. Yeah? The he gambler broke, broke the script. What are you going to do? But, yeah. Shout out to Amami Kokoro, though. Huge match. Mm -hmm. Insanely well played. Securing that tiebreaker. Unfortunately, now we must say goodbye to him in the winner's bracket. And he will move down to the loser's bracket, which... Man, that, that loser's bracket is looking absolutely stacked. And there as you was, have it. Yeah. As was Arctic. literally mentioned before, as was literally mentioned before, loser's bracket is a death trap. In a tournament like this, with such prestigious tournament players, regardless of what stage you're in, you will be against seriously strong players. But that is it. We have to switch to the next match very soon. Next match very soon, ladies and gentlemen. And unfortunately, the double UK cast has got to go. Blue, it's been so much fun. It's oh, been man. so much fun. I need to go lay down. I <laughs> I, I, I need to eat. I haven't eaten yet. I need to eat. <laughs> you gotta go do that, man. I need to I need to contemplate what we've just witnessed, man. <laughs> Today's been so hype. Two tiebreakers in a row. Welcome to the round table. 2.0 2023 qualifiers guys this is what you expect to see from a tournament with players as amazing as these guys here but regardless congrats to Bartek it. yeah congrats to Bartek man I am going to pass it over now to the break screen and to our next casters I've been Shiva with me today has been the wonderful blue so good to cast with you again but I haven't cast with you for ages it's amazing <laughs> and of course thank you to you for streaming this we'll pass you on to our next casters very very soon in about four minutes time see you guys later and have a wonderful evening or day or morning wherever you're from take care take care everyone Hello, everybody. We are back for another match. Just a very short break. Not going to take too long on this one. We have what is going to be our final match of the weekend ahead of us. That's right. There is only...